getting our chained throat seeker here. Unless memory serves me incorrectly. Hmm, actually, flesh eater imp. That's pretty good, I hear. Throat seeker, spine biter, flesh eater. No, we're gonna go with the flesh eater. If I get the f throat seeker, he can just chump for a while, and if he played one more creature, he'd be able to take care of it. The flesh eater is just bonkers. What's good about the brutalizer is he can't really profitably attack into me now. Two, four, six, eight, and I have nine mana. Oh, we could have skin render now, I suppose. I didn't really scout his deck well enough. I didn't see anything. Or a shouldered maybe. Two, four, six, seven. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. I'm not worried about the life, but 3-3 three, three flying is not the best. Alright, we still have plenty of live outs, as in double morbid plunder. What's he got here? Yikes, nested ghoul. Okay, not the worst. So, what are we going to draw? Forest. Uh, of course. No, I can't attack. Um, if he attacks with the nested, I'm just obviously just going to block with a black cleave. Looks like he might be flooding as well. That's okay. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 land in my hand and play. Morbid Plunder would be the nuts right now. Sack some creed. Yep. That's what we're praying for. Evil is thinking. Thinking, thinking. This card is such a beating versus uh, red black as well. I mean, if he tries to target removal or anything, like uh, burn the impure for instance, he's not even going to get the value that he wants. Because I can just sack anything. Nested coming in. Yep. Um. Ooh, pith drillers coming in too. Interesting. Sure. Hopefully. Hopefully he doesn't have a blister stick. If he has a blister stick shaman to go along to kill my brutalizer, that would be unfortunate. Or another pith driller. One, two, three. Blister sick. Oh. Oh, he does have another pith driller. Jeez, I'm not supposed to call these things. Um, interesting that he would do it there. I think if I were him, I would have put it on the flesh eater. Well, no, because now he can get in with all his guys. I guess that was the right play. Morbid plunder. No, but that stops his ground guys in the tracks. So, that was a pretty good draw, I guess. Still can't attack. <sighs> um, if at any point I can just get rid of Sangromancer, he loses, assuming he doesn't have removal. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Garden Firemind. What clan is he in? No clan. Evil has three cards in hand. Plenty of possibilities. Go into attack phase. He, ooh. I think that's the right play by him. He has to race. Um, I'll block the zombie here. Take six, go to five. Jeez. Artillerize. But he did leave up the Sangromancer. I'm inclined to le believe in that case he has to... Yeah, he probably doesn't have the Artillerize. Whenever I'm this low against red, though, I always <laughs> assume that they have it.
four, five, six, whoa! Oh, exsanguinate. Yep. Fridge. Huh. Exsanguinate. Interesting. So he's got a lot of fast stuff. Or, by that I mean he's an aggressive red deck. Red black. I don't think I can afford to add anything. I guess. No, I'm not, not running enough of those colors. I think once again we just roll with what we got. I could. I think the mall splicer wouldn't be bad. Three creatures is. Do I. <laughs> I'm actually thinking about cutting the golem artisan. He doesn't actually do anything for my deck unless I have the vector asp out. I mean, sure, he's decent. Uh, I don't know why I would ever cut this card. <laughs> That's the thing. But he just doesn't do. He just doesn't do enough. This is the only time I've ever cut a go golem artisan for my deck. We'll see if it actually works. Um, he's fast. Shoot, I probably need to be on the play. Did he draw? He played first. Uh, yeah, I need to just get there. And this is a great hand to just get there. Snapkeeper. Snapkeeper. Domain. Removal. This is... <laughs> really good hand, not gonna lie. And hope he doesn't crush. Crush? Nope, no crush. Unless he forgot to do it. Oh, what? He. Jeez. Well, I forgot to do one damage because I F6'd. I, I would have assumed he would have just uh, crushed before the token came out, but it's my mistake. Interesting. He doesn't have a turn four play either, or three play either. Sure, why not? I probably should have just left it back. He's gonna play like Flash or uh, Slash Panther now. Sangromancer, sure, buddy, sure. Oh, Parasitic and pass a turn. I realize I could have played the Black Cleave and attacked with the Flesh Eater and the Black Cleave and, like, sacked my stuff to it, but that doesn't seem very good at all. Yep, get in there. Now if he artillerized, that would be pretty sweet for him. Nope. I'll take my free 1-1. One -one. I'll take my black cleave. Swing away, Johnny, swing away. Oh, he's got something. Yeah. <laughs> like I was saying, flesh eater just absolute nuts. Um yeah, I'm going to sack the mirror. We'll get in there. I didn't sack the Rager because I don't think there's much point at this point. Um, I kind of want a defensive creature just just in case. For something like that. So, let's see here. I guess there was no question about what I was going to play. Two, four. Oh, running good, running good. I don't think he can attack. And that's the ball game. So his start was very slow that time. He did have his flyer, but 
I mean, I just had a way to turn to maximize or u utilize the uh, the abilities. I think. You know what? I don't even know why I put that in there. I'm not gonna run with the mall splicer or the golem artisan. I should probably be pointing one of these, but. <laughs> C'est la vie. He chose to play first. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is a keeper. It's not very fast. Hopefully, I'll draw like a blighted agent or vector asp or something, just to just to start getting in there with the uh, thrumming bird. But if not, I'll have to wait for the turn four black cleef. Jeez, crush. All right. Whatever. Don't need my forests right now anyway. Pass turn. Yeah. I guess I do need my forest. Well then. Thrumming bird with no thing to proliferate. Shoot. The problem is <laughs> I have a feeling he has he has a uh, Shoot, what's it called? It's instill infection. I mean, yeah, I play this because if he instills infections next turn, I get to play the black cleave and p get three poison on him. But blighted agent is like my go-to guy. Oh sh snap! Arc trail. Okay, did not see that card. Well. We are in for an interesting game three, ladies and gentlemen. Here's a plan. I draw a forest next turn. I play the Rager and the Vector Asp. I draw another forest off the Rager. Or, I mean, the Rager, yeah. Sure. Forest. Bam. He attacks with the red, uh, the resistor. I think I block with the uh, these two. Five, sure, that's fine. Not preferable. Fine though. Yep, sure. I'm. I like it when people tap out before they attack. It makes me feel a lot better about uh, not having to get blown out. Yikes. No, he's gonna block, but no, this way I don't get instill infectioned. I realize I take two more damage this way, but he has so much removal that gets rid of one toughness guys, I think it's probably for the best. And I'm at nineteen right now, I don't have to worry um a great deal about having to die too quickly. Unless he plays like his Nathosaur right now. Which he is. Oh, Frixine Hulk. Okay. Oh boy. Destroying my Horizon Spellbomb was actually quite relevant. Yup. Get in there. I'll block and shoot you. So let's go runner runners forest. Oh, he's got another drop. Whew. I think this game's over. I do believe this game is over. Yeah. Alright guys. Second place. Not too shabby, I guess, for how janky my deck was. Um get my four packs. Picked up a sweet Leonin Arbiter and a foil Brutalizer Exarch. Uh, yeah, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.